us to be together with friends. We are here uh, davening this Shabbat on this final Shabbat of Cantor Saul's Cantorate at Red of Shalom before he becomes Cantor Emeritus. And we're so glad to be here together um, as a community on this screen and as a community that uh, is much, much larger than the screen. All of those who are watching and davening and singing along at home we are so glad that you are here and that you are here to be a part of this magnificent tribute to Cantor Saul. We'll begin this morning with blessings of gratitude. We are on page 65, and Kay will lead us in our morning blessings. <laughs> Baruch atadonai, Elohim elakalam, shaftani Yisrael. Baruch atadonai, Elohim elakalam, shaftani bort kareem. Baruch atadonai, Elohim elakalam, hokeach ibrim. Baruch atadonai, Elohim elakalam, mabisharumim. Baruch atadonai, Elohim elakalam, matir asterim. Baruch atadonai, Elohim elakalam, tokekakupim. Baruch atadonai, Elohim melakam, rokaharetz al hamayim. Baruch atadonai, Elohim melakam, shasali kuzorki. Baruch atadonai, Elohim melakam, hamikin mitzadei gaver. Baruch atadonai, Elohim melakam, Moser Israel bigavra. Baruch atadonai, Elohim melakam, Moser Israel betipara. Baruch atadonai, Elohim melakalam, hanotin le'av goa. Baruch atadonai, Elohim melakalam, hanotin le'av goa. 
Utenenu hayo mu koyom, wakenu kesedu rakamin, veneke veenu korenu, vetigmalenu kasadim tovim, baruch katanonai, gomio kasadim tovim lemo Israel. Amen. We now turn to Psalm 92, the Psalm for Shabbat, we're on page 72. Shir Leom Hashabat, Tov Lehodod Ladonai, Mizmor Shir Leom Hashabat, Tov Lehodod Ladonai, Uza Mer Leshimcha El Yon, Uza Mer Leshimcha El Yon. Lehagid ba boker chastecha, ve emunatecha ba lelot. Sadik atamar yifrach, ke erez ba vanon yiske. Shetulim bevet Adonai, bechatrot Eloheinu yafrichu. O Jenevun Beseva, Teshenim Durananim Yu, the Hagid Kiyashar Ladonai, Zuri Velo of Latabo. This week, our Red of Shalom family remembers Anne Elizabeth Buchanan and Cantor Miriam Kaplan. Kenneth Fink, Joan Gindler, Shirley Ginsburg, Dr. Bertram Goldberg, Barbara Golner, Dolores Green, Seymour Handler, Jack Hartman, Martin Kaplan, Douglas Meir, Myron Mike Mayer, Gloria Nirenberg, Harry Rappaport, Esther Winkman Shapiro, Jerry Sherman, Martha Stark, Arthur A. Weiss, John Weiss and Marvin Yeager. If you are remembering a loved one, we invite you to rise and say Kaddish along with me this morning. Warner's Kaddish is found on page 82. Yitzgadal, Yitzgadash, Shemei Rabbah, Vyalma, Divrach, Yurte, Vyam Lichmal Kute, Vachayachon, Vyomechon, Vachayet, Chobet Yisrael. Bagalah Bizman Karivimru Amen. Yeheshme Rabba Mavorach Le Olam Ome Omaya. Yiparach Vishtabach Vibar Vitrama Vietnase Vitadar Vitale Vitalal Shme de Kudisha Barihu Le Lamin Ko Birchata Vishirata Tushbachata Venechamata Da Amiran Vialma Vimru Amen. Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shamaya Vahaim Alenu Vial Kol Yisrael Vimru Amen. O se shalom vim ramav, hu ya se shalom, aleinu v'al kol yisrael vim ru, amen. We begin our Pesuke de Zimra section of our service with Ali Merenstein leading us in uh, Baruch Sha'amar. That is found on page 83. Rabbi, is Josh going to speak first? Ah, thank you. See, You're welcome. we have a whole schedule this morning, and that means that there is also the chance to miss something. So thank you for, uh, thank you, Ray, for jumping in. Josh will share a few words before we uh, sing Baruch Shemar. Thank you so much. So Cantor Saul, on behalf of the synagogue and preschool, preschool staff over the past 35 years, I want to thank you for your leadership and passion towards building such an amazing community at Rhoda Shalom. Your passion and voice have touched the lives of our preschool students congregants and the greater Denver community. And for that, we are grateful. Personally, it has been a privilege to work with you over the last year and a half. You have helped me grow in my role as executive director and shared your invaluable knowledge of the Road of Shalom community. Your humor and passion have helped me through both the good and tough days of this work. Your leadership in the sanctuary has made my job easier as it is one less thing that I have to worry about. While the last three months have not been what we imagined, I cannot imagine creating a new online synagogue without your voice and leadership. As an executive director, 
I usually do not get to sit down and enjoy the services. But over this time, I've had the pleasure of having my spiritual needs met by listening to you lead us in prayer. Thank you for giving me comfort in these uncertain times. Thank you, thank you, and best of luck in your retirement. With that, please join us on page 83 for Baruch She'amar, led by Ellie Merenstein. Baruch She'amar v'haya ha'olam, Baruch Hu, Baruch Oseh v'reshit, Baruch Omer v'oseh, Baruch Gozer u'mekayem, Baruch Merachem al ha'aretz, Baruch Merachem al Habriot, Baruch Mishalem Sachar Tov Lireav, Baruch Hailad Vikayam Lanetzach, Baruch Bodeu Matil, Baruch Shemo. Yahid Cheha Olami, Melech Meshubach, Mufar, Ade Ajmo Hagadol, Baruch Hatadonai. Melech Mehulal Batish Bachot. We now turn to page 92 for Psalm 136. <speaking in Hebrew> Odu la donai adoni ki leo la hasto leo seni flaut gedo lo levado ki leo la hasto leo seni flaut ashamayim vihit vuna ki leo la hasto ero kare ki
We now turn to page 96 for Ashrei. Ashreyo shvevetecha, o de hallelucha sela. Ashreyha am shekacha lo, Ashreyha am shad ma yeloha. Tehila le David, aromi mecha elohai ha melech, vavar chashim cha leolam vaed. Gadol Adonai Mulal Meod, Velik Dulato Ein Cheker. Dor le dor Yishapach Maslecha, Udgurtecha Yagidu. Hadar Kevod Hodecha, Vidivrini Flotecha Asicha. Zuzurtecha Yomeru, Udulatecha Asaprehena. Zecherav tu v'chaya bi v'tzit patecha yiraneinu. Hanu v'rachu madonai, erech ha'chayim d'ochaseh. Tov adonai l'akol v'racham aval kol ma'asav. Yodu ha'adonai kol ma'asecha v'chasidecha yivarchucha. Kivod malchutecha yomeru, g'vuratecha yedaberu. Malchut <laughs> Tzadi Kadonai bechol derachav vechazi bechol ma'asav. Kevrov Adonai lechol korav lechol asher yifrechu ve'emet. Ritzon yireav yase ve'et shavatam yishma v'yoshihem. Shomer Adonai ekol ha'ava v'yet kol ha'sharim yashmi. Tehilat Adonai yedaber pi v'varech kol basar shem kodcho le'olam va'et. Achnu nevarech ya, nyatavi ad olam, so that was a melody that was brought to Red of Shalom. How many years ago? 35 years ago, Cantor Saul? Is that right? Yes, it was a, it was a melody that I learned from uh, Cantor Emil Berkowitz, uh, one of my teachers in Omaha, Nebraska back in, uh, let's see, we came here in 1983. So I would learn that back in the late 70s, early 80s. And now it's become a, a staple melody here at our show. It's funny, when I first came, I imagined it to be a new melody because in all my time and in all the cities I lived in, I'd never heard it before and I immediately loved it. So thank you for bringing us such a great- One of the funny things that happened with that is that Ellen Hutt, who tutored many, many of our bar and bat mitzvah children, including my daughters, Ellen and Joanne, loved the melody, adopted it, and started teaching it to all of her B'nai Mitzvot. And within about five years, that particular ashray became known as the Ellen Hutt ashray. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll now bring it back as the Cantor Saul ashray. <laughs> Great, so uh, we're gonna invite Claude Brockfeld to uh, say some words about Cantor Saul. Thanks, Rabbi. Shabbat Shalom. Chag Sameach. Uh, we'll continue our service in just a few minutes with Psalm 150 on page 100 in the Sidur Sim Shalom. Praise God with trumpet calls, with harp and lyre, with drum, dance, flute, strings, resounding cymbals. Music touches us in emotional and spiritual places that allow us to open our souls both to God and to each other fostering our worship and our human connections. For 35 years, our community's primary entree into the dimensions of religious experience that only music can provide has been the work of our cantor and a wonderful friend to me and to so many of you here, Saul Rosenthal. When Betsy and I were new to Denver and looking for a religious home, I wasn't able to articulate exactly what I was seeking but I knew it when I saw it and heard it. Within a few minutes of my first Shabbat morning at Rodef Shalom, I felt that this was where I belonged. And that first impression was dominated by Saul's chanting of Shacharit that day. There was more than just his rich penetrating baritone. There was the true leadership 
the way the congregation rose up singing in response to him, and the way he deployed his sly good humor to coax a laugh from a nervous bat mitzvah celebrant. In the years since, I've had the privilege to see Saul rise to those challenging tasks time and time again. To me, he has served as a teacher and mentor, a role model and a cherished friend. I've had the exceptional good fortune to sing and play with him in both vocal and instrumental ensembles, experience that reopened for me a world of musical expression that had been closed for much of my adult life. He gave me the opportunity to play and sing with musicians far more talented and experienced than me, trusting me and gently challenging me to rise to the occasion. Saul was tireless, patient, and energetic in his guidance, and the community's experience was enriched beyond calculation. There is a particular talent. It's generally employed at a sort of subconscious level, which any ensemble musician requires, but which is often taken for granted namely the ability to listen and to play or sing at the same time. It's a practice which serves one well in life in general, I think, and I'm reminded of perhaps the best and also the briefest advice that Saul gave to me. The particular context related to my own struggles with a disorder of the larynx, which made singing or even speaking problematic. Knowing that Saul had survived his own vocal challenges, I looked to commiserate with him about the difficulty of functioning in public. He spoke to me these four words, listen more, talk less. Not easy for many of us, but excellent guidance in so many situations. Let me say another word about listening. People sometimes ask me how, given that I am sociopolitically a conservative, where Saul leans distinctively left, how we can be such good friends and even partners. Now inside my head, I'm screaming, it's because we're grownups. But more practically, our differences in this regard are an opportunity rather than a problem. Not least because Saul is a master of that art that I've mentioned, the art of listening. I think that all of us know that when you talk with him, you feel that you've been heard. And whatever the conversational topic might be, that's really the, all that most of us want. Which leads me towards my conclusion. Most of you know that Saul and I entered together into a new chapter in our lives when we became business partners, owning a musical instrument store called the Denver Folklore Center. You might not know that until the advent of social distancing, we shared a very small office and we talked a lot. Many days when I could have completed my office work in two hours, it took four instead. A corporate efficiency analyst would probably say that much valuable time had been wasted. But here's the thing that all of us probably know already, but it bears repeating. Whatever the encounter, whether you're sitting in the pew during high holy day services, sitting at Kiddush after Shabbat services, or sitting across a table with a glass of scotch, your time with Saul is never, ever wasted. And as our collective time with him now draws to a close, I can only reiterate the depth of my appreciation for all that he's done for us and feel completely confident that we are united in cherishing the years that we have spent together. I know that you all join me in wishing both Saul and Debbie every happiness in the years to come. And I know that we will miss him. Please join me once again in the middle of page 100 and uh, at home uh, in your own places, please feel free to sing along. Kola nishama Alleluia, Kola Nishama, Hallelujah, Alleluia, Alleluia, Bekot Show, Alleluia, Bekia Uso, Alleluia, Big Vura Tav, Alleluia, Kero of Good Low. Kola nishama te halleluja, halleluja. Kola nishama te halleluja, 
Alleluia, Alleluia, bete kashofar, Alleluia, beneve vechinor, Alleluia, betofu machol, Alleluia, be mimim be ugal, Kola nishama te Alleluia, Alleluia. Kola nishama te haleluya, haleluya, haleluya betzirts le shama, haleluya betzirts le chua, kol hanishama te haleluya, haleluya, kola nishama te haleluya. Alleluia, Kola Nishama to Halleluia, Alleluia. Then we continue on page 102 with Az Yashir Moshe. Az Yashir Moshe, Uvene Israel. Et hashira azahut ladonai, vayamru lemor, hashira ladonai ki ga'o ga'a, zusferacho ramavayam. Ozi vezim rajyaha, vayhili lishua, se'e livian vehu, elohe aviv yaromenhu, adonai ish mi'ochamaha, adonai shemohu. Mark about Paro, the Heloya Ravayam, who be harshly shot to Bubiam Suhu, Tehomot Yehosumu, your juvim so load, Kimoabin. You mean Hadonai Nedari Bakoa, you mean Hadonai Terazoye, the Rose of Hajaras, the Nepot, Mihamohabaili Madonai, Mihamoha, Nedarba Kodesh, Rajiva also Heather, Rajitanai. Maho, the ship to Kapa Alta Adonai. Mitash, Adonai Kananu Yadecha, Adonai Imloch Leolam Ba'ed, Adonai Imloch Leolam Ba'ed. And we continue with Nishmat on page 104. Nishmat Kucha Devarachim <laughs>
Shekin kova kuriyatsum lefanecha Adonai Eloheinu v'leavotenu Leodal lehalel ashivach lefawe Leromeim l'adil v'lech lealeilu kaleis Ale kod ivrei shirat v'tishpechot David ben Yishai avdecha Meshichecha Enter Saul. What an honor it is to be one of the many that are here to honor you today. When I thought about what I wanted to say, what was most important is realizing all of the seeds that you have planted over the years, some little and some big. I remember the first time I did an Aaliyah and you were up there making me feel comfortable. What was this some 25 or 30 years ago? And over the years, the seeds that you planted have allowed me to grow spiritually, where tirelessly you gave of yourself to teach me how to do different aspects of the service. You taught me how to lead the unveiling for my father, which also allowed me to do this for others. You invited me into your high holiday and Shabbat service choral groups. And each one of those have granted me such internal strength and spiritual growth. I remember all the times with my own children and others watching you on the bima, ensuring that the Benot Mitzvah were comfortable with what they were doing. And those gifts they still remember today. I remember you guiding me on how to be a reasonable president of the congregation. There are just so many things, so many seeds that you have planted. And then you and Debbie being good friends. It goes without saying that we all wish you well. We have been so blessed to have had you as our cantor, as our spiritual leader, 
as the one when one of our rabbis was gone, you just led all those wonderful sermons, which we don't know where you pulled those out from, but you have been a wonderful, wonderful addition to my and everybody at Road of Shalom's spiritual growth. Thank you. We now turn to page 106. Thank you so much, Debbie, for those beautiful words and Claude for your words and Josh as well. We're continuing now on page 107. We've moved into our Shacharit service. We begin with the blessing Yotzer or Rechoshef. We begin third, three lines down on page 107 in the Sim Shalom, and Claude will be leading us through this prayer. <laughs> Ose shalom uvore et We'll continue silently to the bottom of this page. In Kirkaho, I don't know him about Lam Hazer. In Zula Hamakin Lahaye, how long on Habo, Epes built a hog on the limot Hamashiach, the Indomela Hamoshienu, the Piata Mehitim. Ela don't now call a maassim, Baruchum vor of the Pican Nishama, God love to the Moralay Olam. Dawalakutvunasovimoto <laughs> Vihiot mohoshnim bekerev tehivel, meleim zivu mefiki hinoga, nawe zivam bechal haolam, smechim betsetam besasim bivoam, ovosim biyein maritzon konam, pervechavo not milishmo, zahalla verina vezecher mafuto, Karala Shemesh Vais Rafur, Ravo Avehi Kim Tsugatalvana, Shevach Not Mihilo, Kalseva Hamava Rom, Tihi Fere to get to Hulo, Seraphim Biofani Bechahayota Kodesh. Page 109, Loela She Shabbat, Mikola Maasim. Continuing on page one ten. Kulam ahuvim, kulam berovim, kulam giburim, vechalam osim biyem avira ritzon konam, vechalam potkim et pihem bitu shavot tahara, veshira ubezim ra umvachim ushabachim ufaavim, umavitim umakishim umamlichim, et shem hoel hamelech hagado vachagibor vahanara kado boboshu. Kalam kaprim alei hamamachu shamayim zemi zeven oni l'shut zela zela vina lachat ruach v'tzachav ravimat kolot kachad v'dim ramim elaha. Behulam Kabli Malahem Amahut Shamayim Zemize, Benot Nimishut Zelazel, Lakish Leo Trombenakat Ruach, Besafabura Ubinima Kudosha, Kulam Kiakat Onim, Biomi Biravo, Kadosh Kadosh Kadosh, I don't knights of a boat, Melohala Aretz Kevodo. But 
והאופנים וחיות הקודש ברעש גדול, מתנסים לרמת צרפים, לרמת המשרפים ויומים, ברוך כבוד אדוני ממקומו, לאל ברוך נימות ייתנו. אור חדש על ציון תור אור עיר ונזכה חולון המהרה ליאורו ברוך אתה אדוני יוצר המאורות שלום מארבע כאן פוטו ארץ. וקרב תל השמחה הקדוש סלע באמת, להודות לך ויחדך ויאהבה. ברוך אתה אדוני הבוחר ימו ישראל ביאהבה. We now move into our Shema prayer. We're on page 112, and Rabbi Joel Newman will be leading us. It's so wonderful to have you back in our community on this Zoom stream to be leading us. Again, we're on page 112. Please, let's join together. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Baruch Shem Kavod, as we continue. ושיננתם בבניך ודיברת פעם, ושיקחה בביתך ובלכתך בדרך, ושבתך ובקומך, 
וכשרתם ליות על ידיך, היו לתותפות בני נכה, וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך, ובישרך. As we continue silently in Hebrew or in Russian. We continue together. By Yomir Adonai El Moshe Lemor, the Beryl B'nai Yisrael, the Amarta Elohim, the Sulahem Tzitzit. Al kan fei big dehem le dorotam v'na nu al tzitzit. A kanach ichil techele. V'haya lechem le tzitzit. Yitem oto. Zcharetem mekal mitzvot Adonai v'yasitem otam v'lo taruru. V'achare levavchem v'achare einechem asher atem zonim achareihem. V'man tizkuru v'asitem mekal mitzvotai. V'yitem kudoshim lo lohechem. M'yirunai lohechem asher hotzeti echem e'erts mitzrayim. V'yot lechem lo lohim. As we continue silently. Dorvador who Gayamu smoke, I am Vicky Sona Homa who told him and I told Akayam at Uarhaim, the Kayanim. Match at our don't I lay new villa, hey, Botinu, Malkinu, Malkabotinu, go a lane, go a lavotinu, your turn, it's your issue at Tinu, Podinu, Matsilenu, Melam Shamaha, in Elohim, Zula Taka, as Rot of Otinu, Atahu, Melam again. We are so blessed this morning to have rabbis from Rodef's past here to share this morning with Cantor Saul and uh, to share this morning with our community. So I want to invite Rabbi Joel Newman, who is now the rabbi in Vail, to share a few words with Cantor Saul. Thank you. Thank you. Saul, so this is, uh, even though it was 35, 34 years ago that I came to join you, it seems like it was just yesterday, and it's really very special to have this time to be with you again because it was you and it was Debbie that really became such a part of my life. And you introduced me to Rodef. This was my first senior pulpit that I came to and you got me to go past all the landmines that were laying out there in order to survive the congregation. But then you became such a part of our family and being a part of the family, you officiated at my wedding with Janet and then Ellen and Joanna were at the babysitters for Rachel and our baby naming for Emily. And then after leaving Rodef, we still stayed in touch. We got together and you were able to come out to the Naval Academy where I was serving and uh, it was Emily's bat mitzvah. And I couldn't think of anyone else who really could have been better to have stood side by side one more time doing another Shabbat service with our family. Well, during my 25 years of deployments with the Navy, you were always there. I wasn't here, but you were able to stay in touch with Janet, with the family, and I'm always appreciative of the way you checked in on them when I wasn't able to. Well, I know together we created some very special moments at RODEF. Our services and programs, I think, were memorable. I still can sit back and, and smile at so many of the different things we were able to do together. And what was always so important when the two of us got together to plan whatever we did, it wasn't about us. It was never about you or me. It was about how to meet the needs of the congregation where they were at that time. And I'm appreciative as we'd be in the middle of a service and you'd walk over to me or me to you and we'd whisper something and then move on with the service, changing it in mid-flight. Well, before I got a canter in Vail, we were still teaming up once more. 
And I'm so appreciative of the time that you decided to head a little bit west, come out here to Vail, and even on top of the mountain at Vail Mountain when we did our service uh, together and we're facing the crowd and then we're able to turn around to uh, chant Baruch Hu, and I'll never forget your comment, which I can't repeat on Shabbos, as we looked out <laughs> over the whole mountain together for the very first time. So it's been wonderful. So for me, Janet, Rachel, Emily, we say thank you. Thank you for such a wonderful introduction to my rabbinate, to the experience that we had in Denver. It was wonderful. And all the different things that we did together. But most of all, thank you for being there, for being there as a colleague in friendship, as a family member, and could never say thank you enough. Fair winds and following season your retirement. And to Daraba. Thank you again. So oh, it's finally here. After half a lifetime of giving your heart and soul to the community of Road of Shalom, you are moving into the well-earned next stage of your life. Your congregational presence and music have meant so much to me. There are performance cantors, and then there is Saul Rosenthal, who strives for inclusive davening with melodies that touch our hearts, and heighten our spiritual experience. Shabbat with a backbeat, Shabbat under the stars, Kolot to Shabbat, have brought me the greatest joy. You tirelessly give of yourself and are always looking for ways to support our congregation in a creative fashion. A special moment for me was officiating at Alan and my wedding five years ago. It was truly a highlight of my life. Then there's the friendship. You reached out to us and we love the relationship we have with you and Debbie, the ability to talk freely and sharing a lot of laughter. We know we will maintain that for many years to come. Alan and I truly wish you the best as you go forward. You deserve it. Mazel tov, my friend. Thank you. That's 
We'll now continue with Mi Chamocha. We're in the middle of page 114. Mi Chamocha will lead us directly into Sor Yisrael and the silent Amidah. The silent Amidah uh, begins on 115b. Mi Chamocha Ba'elim Adonai Mi Chamocha Nidar Ba'kodesh no ra ti hi lo o se fe le shi ra ha de sha shi be hu ku u lim li shim ka o svar ha yam ya ha ku lam ho du vi khim li khu ma yin bi am ru adonai im lo khle o lam va he Mi chamocha ba elim Adonai, Sur Yisrael, Kuma bezrat Yisrael, Uvdei ki humecha, Yehuda va Yisrael, Go halenu, Adonai sivahot shemo, Kedosh Yisrael, Baruch atah denai kahal Yisrael. Now, if you'll turn to one fifteen B for the Amida. Shalom, oh, Shalom, oh, Shalom, 
Aleinu ve'al ko Yisrael Ose shalom, alleluia Ose shalom, alleluia Ose shalom, bim romav Huya ase shalom, huya ase shalom Aleinu ve'al ko Yisrael Oh, say shalom, alleluia, oh, say shalom, alleluia, oh, say shalom, bim roma. Who ya ase shalom, who ya ase shalom, aleinu ve'al ko Yisrael. Who ya ase shalom, who ya ase shalom, aleinu ve'al ko Israel. Before Ray speaks, can I? Can you do full screen for me, please, Jeff? Uh, people have been asking me; they're concerned about what I'm going to do in retirement. So I just wanted to let you know: there's my retirement plan. Now you can all relax. Yay! I love it. I love it. Thank you, Jeff. This is probably our first Zoom service where we've had a uh, wardrobe change in the middle of the service. Nice. It's a Shehekianu moment. So um, I just want to thank Judy for sharing such beautiful words about Cantor Saul. And Judy, thank you so much to you and to Fran Cohen for all the work you've done into planning this year of Saul. We had uh, two events in the fall and in the, 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 the winter, spring, I guess it was still the winter. Um, and we had planned to have this beautiful um, celebration, this concert uh, this spring. And unfortunately, because of COVID-19, we weren't able to do that, but we are doing this now today. And you know, Cantor saw that we, um, we were all looking so forward to that and that Judy and, and Fran, the work that you did, the tireless work that really came from the heart to making all of the events that we have done so far that we, that we did this year so special. Thank you, it meant so much. Um, I wanna invite Ray to share a few words before we start Halal. I also wanna thank Ray who, Ray Marenstein really uh, took on the fundraising aspect of this year, um, fundraising around uh, who Cantor Sal is and what he has brought to this community and enabling us to make um, the work that he has done to create a real legacy for him, a legacy that he's created, but a legacy that is um, imprinted in our, our community. And so we'll speak more about that um, during this morning, but I want to invite Ray to share a few words and then he'll be helping us lead Halal as well. Thank you. And, and I'm honored to be part of this opportunity to share a few words with Cantor Sal. I realize that many congregants don't know the full history of your time at Rota Shalom, and I do have that privilege. There might even be some, very, very few, who don't know your affinity for Scotch. But as you may have recently read, because the story has gone viral, just last month in Forbes, New York Post, Mass Live, yes, Mass Live, was a story about the Pope declaring Scotch whiskey to be the real holy water. According to reports, it's important to note that Pope Francis did say it as a lighthearted joke to Scottish students who offered him a bottle of, as a gift at a reception at the Vatican. But now, as you become Cantor Emeritusal, you know you have the Pope's blessing whenever you drink scotch. On a more serious note, despite always having your day job, whether it was regional director at Anti-Defamation League or co-owner of a public relations firm or co-owner of a music store, you never ever allowed Rota Shalom to be second fiddle. You put in countless hours way beyond other duties as described. You took on the plans for countless mountain retreats. You sought scholars and donors for scholars and residents and Shabbat Shira. You also could teach a master class on how to navigate the shul during shul hours to welcome people, whether they were new, whether they had come back after a long recess, or whether they were Shabbat regulars, always knowing just what to say. You brought together Hal Akwa, Steve Brodsky, and Harry Tuff, along with you to celebrate your anniversary concert at Seoul Ballroom, but again, did it to raise money for Congregation Road of Shalom. You brought new tunes for High Holidays with Kolot Teshuvah, 
and a willingness to share the beauty of some new Misha tunes as well. But the real tribute is recognizing that you have been present and played a role in so many lives, at least 613 times in life cycle events from Brittany Law to El Malay Rahman over the course of your cancer ship. We've been shared some tough times, but you were always there. So whether face-to-face -face or Facebook, you have truly been a part of so many of our lives. For that, I simply say thank you on behalf of Jerry and Bonnie, Ray and Ilana, Ellie, Hannah, and Shara, on behalf of the Rhoda family, and of course, the extended community, L'chaim. Thank you so much, Ray. Really beautiful. Um, we're going to begin Hallel now. Yay! More reason to celebrate. It's Shavuot. It's Candorcell's retirement party. It's a joyful gathering of all of our friends and family. And so we're going to uh, uh, rise or sit, depending on how you are comfortable in your home. Join us. Sing with us. We're on page 133. Page 133. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kitshanim mitzvotah v'tivanu l'kratz haolam Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kitshanim mitzvotah v'tivanu l'kratz haolam Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Adonai, Adonai. Hallelujah, Shem Adonai, Yehi Shem Adonai, Mevorah ve'atavad olam Mi Mizrach Shem Eshan Mevoa, Shem Adonai, Rama Kokoim Adonai, Al Hashemayim Kevodo, Mi Adonai Eloheinu, Hamabila Shevet Hamashpili Birot, Bashamayim Uvaret, Miki Me Ha-ha-ta Yehuda l'kacho Yisroel mamshela tav Ha-ha-yam rab ayamis Ha-yardain yisov v'achor Peharim rakadu ke'ei Give a-o kibne tzon Ma-ha-ha-yam Ki-ta-nu Kitanus Ayardim Ayardim Dis of the Ahor Dis of the Ahor Eharim Eharim Tirka duke Aileen Tirka duke Aileen Give out Give out Give son Give son me leap in a adon, me leap in a adon, who lee are rats, who lee are rats, me leap in a, me leap in a, Eloha Yaakov, Eloha Yaakov, Ahov ki hatsor, Ahov ki hatsor, Agamahayim, Agamahayim. <laughs> Halamish, Halamish, the manyo mai, the manyo mai. Lolan, what an eye, Lolan, who kill a shim hat in cabot, I'll has the hami teha. Lama yom rua goyim. Israel, but after the Ramu Maginam, who bait our own bit who Badunai, as Ramu Maginam, who Mire Adonai bit who Badunai, as Ramu Maginam. 
I'm gonna invite the Marenstein family. We're on page 134. Do you guys think you could do Psalm 115, the bottom of the page? Yeah. Great. Adonai Zecharanu Yevarech, Yevarech et Beit Yisrael, Yevarech et Beit Aharon, Yevarech Erei Adonai, Akitanim Yudulim, Yosef Adonai Alechem, Alechem Be'al Beneichem, Beruchim Etem Adonai,
We find ourselves towards the bottom of page 136 and then on to 137 for the final page of Hallel. Pichuli sharetzedek avovam odeya zehashar ladonai sadikim yavo uvo. Odecha ki anitan mi vate hi li li shua. Odecha ki anitan mi vate hi li li shua. Even ma asu ha bonim hayeta le roshpina. Even ma asu ha bonim. Ayita le roshpina, meyet adonai hayita hazot, hini flat be ene nu, meyet adonai hayita hazot, hini flat be ene nu, zehayom asa adonai, nagi lavenis mechavo. Zehayom asa Adonai, nagila venis mechavo. Ana Adonai, Hoshiana. Ana Adonai, Hoshiana. Ana Adonai, Hoshiana. Ana Adonai, Hoshiana. Ana Adonai Hatslichana. Ana Adonai Hatslichana. Ana Adonai Hatslichana. Ana Adonai Hatslichana. Baruch Haba Beshem Adonai Berachnuchem Ibet Adonai 
Baruch haba b'shem Adonai b'rachnu chemi b'et Adonai el Adonai vaya er lanu yisru chag ba'avotim ad karno tamis be'ach el Adonai vaya er lanu yisru chag ba'avotim ad karno tamis be'ach Eliata v'yodeka Eloi Aromemeka, Eliata Viodeka, Eloi Aromemeka, Hoduladonai Kito, Kili Olam Hasto, Hoduladonai Kito, Kili Olam Yahalaluch Adonai I want to wish a yesher koach to Rabbi Bernie Gerson, who worked for 25 years alongside Cantor Saul, um, and will be speaking a little bit later on in this morning's service. Um, I also want to wish a yesher koach to Rabbi Joe Davidson, who uh, led Pieces of Hallel as well and um, worked with Rabbi Gerson many, many years ago. And it's so wonderful to have you here on our live stream as well. And Rabbi Bernie Eisenman and family who've joined us um, from Florida, I believe. Wonderful to have you here as well with us today. Cancer Saul. Kendra Sal, thank you for your partnership, for your flexibility, for your wisdom, for your patience, and for your kindness. When I came to interview, you took Jeff and me out to breakfast. You immediately treated us as friends, and you treated me as a likely colleague. Your warmth and your kindness made us feel welcome, even in that, those first few moments of our breakfast conversation. And that morning you told me about and you showed me your commitment to the Rota of Shalom community, your commitment to making song and tefillah accessible, and your commitment to building friendships and partnerships with each rabbi you have worked with, which is so clear from the showing today. Every rabbi that you have worked with in your 35 year career is on this Zoom right now. In the sweep of your career, our partnership has been a brief one. But for me, in my first two years here at Red of Shalom, it has been so, so vital. I'm so grateful for the way you have helped me to shape a vision, continuing to build on Rodef's many, many strengths. I'm so grateful for the work you have done with me, patiently and flexibly, bringing beautiful music to our community and partnering with me to lead our congregation through this transition. Hearing new melodies and jumping in to learn them, and even in these last months, as you have been counting down towards your retirement, when many cantors might have stepped back, had a drink, you instead stepped forward. You have been so accommodating, you have been so generous, you've been patient, and you've given me the benefit of the doubt whenever I've inadvertently said or done something which might have caused hurt. Thank you for that. You have shown me how an excellent cantor operates, leading in a way that moves us all to sing and consistently inviting other people to lead prayer, giving people the courage to know that we all own our Judaism, that we all have the ability to step up and lead and to be present with Torah, to be present with song and to make the song that is within us accessible. You've done this even with those of us who don't have the greatest voices, always being encouraging and loving as you've continued to enable all of us to accept and to reflect on the tradition. I'm so grateful for your humor, providing me and many others with real genuine laughs on tough days, 
being willing to share your humor as a building block for real connection. And I'm also grateful for your counsel. As a cantor and a sociologist, you consistently provide a listening ear and compassion each time I've needed it, providing support for me in tough moments. You have given me advice, you have challenged me, and you have also reflected with me in ways that have been continuously helpful and sensitive. You have provided wisdom and you have provided guidance, teaching me through conversation and teaching me through modeling. I imagine that that first morning when we met at that restaurant and had a conversation, the morning I was interviewing, there was probably a little voice in your head saying, here we go again. You even made some comments about breaking in a new rabbi. But you never really let it show in the work that we did together. You mustered all of your experience and your compassion and your love for the Rodef community. And you guided us through a potentially difficult period of time with grace and with true learning. Thank you so much, Saul, for that. And I am also grateful that you have become my friend. I'm grateful to have had you as a friend who has texted with me at random hours and shared both joys and woes during these past two years. You joked yesterday that you might just happen to lose my phone number for the next month. But don't worry, Cantor Sal, I still have yours. And I know that the person that I have come to count on as a friend and as a counselor will eventually answer my texts. Maybe after having a sip of scotch on a cruise somewhere, or maybe after finishing listening to or playing in a wonderful concert, or maybe after walking your dog. The care and the dedication that you have put into the RODEF community, into singing and growing us into what is now what we know as a vibrant, participatory community. This is a legacy that will remain central a central piece in our phenomenal Rodef story. It is one of the things that attracted me here and that continues to attract new community members every single week, even during this COVID-19 crisis. You have created something so special here over the past 35 years, and we will take care of it and we will continue to build on it. I'm so thrilled that we're going to be purchasing the new Cedar Ream in your honor that I spoke about earlier. And we will use those Sidurim every Shabbat. Sidurim that open to filah to new audiences and offer us new ways to pray. They even include the Ladino Ein Kelohenu that you introduced here at Red of Shalom and we'll be singing today. Sidurim that are perfect, a perfect tribute to you. But we also wanted to create a tribute for you to keep, something special and unique for you for you to hold on to. And there is only really one way that we felt that we could do that right. And so I want to invite David Ross now to share a few words. Cantor Saul, you are the only person I know who can make their fourth career even more impactful and long lasting than their first three. And now you are moving on to your fifth and maybe even your sixth. In the many years that you have been with RODEF, you have created a musical bond that weaves through the generations. As your legacy continues on, I know that Moshe and I are proud to be a part of that tradition. It is a pleasure to call you my mentor and good friend. In honor of your years of dedication and to continue your tradition of bringing new melodies to RODEF, I have composed Saul's Nigun so that our sanctuary, virtual or otherwise, will always be filled with the spiritual energy that you have helped to create. So this is what we're gonna do. David is gonna sing this nigun through. And then all of us on the live stream are gonna unmute ourselves. And everyone has come prepared to share adjectives that describe you and that connect you to us, Saul. And so in the middle of the Nagoon, we will all take our turns sharing those adjectives. And then David, you're gonna continue and play this Nagoon again. Yeah, la 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 la
来，来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来。来来来，来来来来来来，来来来来来来来，来来来来来来来来来来来，来来来来来来来来，来来来来来来来来。Oh. Endurance. Generous. Dedicated. Loyal. Skillful. Inclusive. Moving. Loving. Inspirational. Supportive. Wonderful. <laughs> Flexible. Uplifting. Friendship. Wise. Authentic. Social justice driven. Unfailingly punctual. <laughs> Multidimensional. a friend, a colleague, a person who has held this community together through times that have been difficult and times danced with us and smiled with us and times that have been joyful. Yai la 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 Yai la 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 la. Yai la la yai la 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 la. Yai la 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 la. Yai la 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 la. Yai la 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 yai la la la. Yai la 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 la. What you don't know is that oh, excuse me. David wrote it in my key. <laughs> I only had twelve to choose from. <laughs> Normally, we don't sing in the same key. Well, when we're singing together, we do, but thank you very much, David, and thank you for all these kind comments. Told you this would happen. Okay.
But we're glad that we um, enabled it to happen, uh, you know, still this early in the service. <laughs> so we're going to move into our Yisker service now. And I think it's important for us to acknowledge that there are different people who have different approaches to Yisker. For some of us, we come to Yisker and we remember loved ones, parents, spouses, children, siblings. Yisker is deeply personal for us. It's about connecting with lived moments that are very much in the past and claiming these memories as ours in this moment, often wishing that we had more time and more memories to make. There's been a custom for people to leave the room they're in Yisker if they still have living parents and have not lost siblings or children. This came about um, as a means of respect for parents. It's a bit of a superstition, fear of inciting bad luck by being in the room. But even superstitions can become meaningful customs. And for some of us, that act of leaving the room in and of itself has become a ritual of sorts. But for others, even those of us who have not lost a loved one and have not lost a parent, the custom, there is also a custom to actually stay in the room to be present and to be supportive to those who are longing for a loved one, to hold them up, to say, you will not remember alone. For many who stay but have not suffered a personal loss, there is a custom to remember in more universal ways. So if you are comfortable, I'm going to invite you now in your own home, in your own space, not to turn off the computer in this moment, but rather to be here and to remember with the rest of us to remember those who have passed away from the road of community. Maybe these are people who you saw at shul from time to time, maybe laughed with and said Shabbat Shalom at Kiddush. Maybe they're people who you knew more deeply, but maybe they're only people who you knew quite vaguely. Either way, these people, these people who are part of Rodef Shalom's past, they are a part of us. And we also stay in in this moment to remember the over 100,000 people in the United States that have died over these past weeks, these past months of COVID-19. These were all people who had friends and family. These were all people who had hopes and dreams. They were people who had likes and dislikes, favorite foods and favorite outings, places they wanted to go, places they dreamed of exploring in their lifetimes. For them as well, in this moment of Yisker on Shavuot in 2020 during COVID-19, we remember them. As I said, Yisker is a profoundly personal experience and it's a personal choice whether we stay in or whether we close our computer in this moment. But the personal is also highly communal. Yisker creates a separate moment for us to cry and mourn, even in this holiday that is filled with such rich celebration, such rich celebration of Torah, of our heritage, and who we are as a Jewish people. I'm going to invite Rabbi Cantor Bertie Becker to begin our Yisker service with a psalm. We will then move into our private Yisker prayers. They, uh, I believe that they have been, there's a link to them in the live stream comments. So you can go to the Yisker book and read the words that are in the Yisker book during our personal prayers. This is time and space for us to remember. So even if you don't have the traditional piece that is set in front of you, just taking a moment to remember, just taking a moment to commit ourselves to making the memories of our lives ones a blessing and to commit ourselves to living their legacy in our lifetime, that too does the, the holy work of our Yisker service. Adonai roli lo
Sim Shalom Burke for you score are on page, begin on page 
נעזרים לנשמות כל אלה שהזכרנו היום לברכה שהלכו לעולמם בגן עדן תהה מנוחתם אנא בעל רחמים אסתירם בסתר כנפיך לעולמים וצרוד יצרור החיים את נשמתם, נשמותיהם ארוני הוא נחלתם וינוחו בשלום על משכבותיהם ונאמר אמן. Exalted, compassionate God, grant infinite rest in your sheltering presence among the holy and pure to the souls of all our beloved who have gone to their eternal home. Merciful one, we ask that they find perfect peace in your tender embrace, their memory enduring as inspiration for commitment to their ideals and integrity in our lives. May their souls be bound up in the bond of life. May they rest in peace and let us say, Amen. Amen. Rabbi Davidson. We're now on page 198. I invite you to recite Mortar's Kaddish along with me. Yitzgadal, Vitzgadash, Shame Raba, Vialma, Dibrach, Hirute, Vialmalik Malkute, Vahaya Hon, Vialmat Hon, Vahaye, the whole Beit Israel, Vagala, Vizman Kariv, Vimru, Amen, Yehesh, Me, Raba, Mavorach, the Lamo, Mayo Maya, Yitbarach, Vishtavach, Vipar, Vitraman, Vietnase. Vitadar, Vitale, Vitalal, Shmid, Kudusha, Barichu, Leela, Min Kol, Birchata, Shirata, Tushbachata, Venechamata, Dam, Iran, Yama, Biru, Amen. Yehe, Shlama, Rabba, Mishamaya, Vahayim, Alenu, Vial Kol, Israel, Vimru, Amen. O Seshalom, Nimramav, Huya, Seshalom, Alenu, Vial Kol, Israel, Vimri. Cantor Bertie Becker will now share some words about Cantor Saul. What I would be able to say after everyone had spoken, um, if there was anything left to say, although there's always something to say, but at the Shavuot service hall Thursday night, you gave me a clue. You said that you were grateful that you would never have to break in another Road of Shalom rabbi. And at the time I wrote, LOL, but then I considered it beyond that initial reaction. And it revealed the foundation of your substantial influence on Jewish life here in Denver. Your tireless energy, even when physically injured, emotionally drained, and even spiritually transitioning drew people to you. They certainly drew me to Road of Shalom. Countless B'nai Mitzvah students, adult learners, children from the school, and anyone who approached the Bima for a blessing 
in joy or in sorrow, could rely on your support. You've been a source of stability for the congregation as the rabbis came and went on the letterhead. And you anchored others who stood to enhance the service with Torah, with messages of understanding and exploration, and with music, myself included, both in the synagogue and in my personal shivas. Through words and music, you enriched not only tefillah, but vital community gatherings, such as the annual Yom HaShoah event. Music resources such as Swallow Hill and the Folklore Center. Innovation and renewal of music with Shir Rodef, Shabbat Under the Stars, Shabbat with a Backbeat, and of course, the Rocky Mountain Jewgrass, which spread your talent to far reaching corners of the country and even beyond. And of course, your influence on the Rocky Mountain Cantors Association with your generally gentle, but as needed stronger prodding and dynamic, witty, smart and seeing of the series of concerts never went unnoticed. I take a moment to personally thank you for always being responsive whether sharing the bima in the music, in our pit off to the side, on the bima, and while I was at the helm of the RMCA. Your vision, your skills, your patience, and your openness has allowed all of us to grow and deepen our connection with the words and melodies of our heritage. You said of the Folklore Center, that you bought it to preserve a legacy. Saul, you have a legacy, all your own across this region, this city and the community. May we be worthy to carry your legacy, even as you continue to share your gifts with us in other ways. The future is bright and you have helped to shape it. Yashir koach and tzadar Koach. We'll now turn to prayers for healing. I invite you in the, the space in the prayer to add the names for those for whom you're praying. And our traditional prayer will be followed by uh, some music and song led by David. Hakadosh Baruchu Yimale Rachamim Alehem, Lachachazikam Urepotam, Vishlak Lahamahir Rufu Shlema Min Hashemayim, Rafu Atanafa Shurafu Ataguf, Batok Shar Hole Israel, Shabbati Vyom Tovu, Milzok Rufu Ark, Rova Lavo, Hashabagala, Vizman Karib, and Omar Healer of the broken hearted, binder of their wounds, counter of uncountable stars, you know where they are. Hallelujah. 
Arrow fell is for a Healer of the broken hearted Binder of our wounds Counter of uncountable stars You know who we are to hear words from the last rabbi who worked with Cantor Saul prior to me, Rabbi Bernie Gerson. Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach, everyone. It's great to be with you. I bring blessings and warm wishes of love from Sue and my entire family on this most auspicious day. Um, as Rabbi Bernie mentioned, when one comes at the end um, of a long line of speakers, words of such beauty and a kola kavod to all of you and to you, Rabbi Kobrin, for crafting this beautiful service this morning, there is great liability uh, in perhaps repeating something that's been said before. Um, and I took on this liability because for me, the last part of the service was the embellishment of so much of what I enjoyed during my partnership with Canner Saul. For the better part of 18 years at the end of my tenure, we would joyously conclude the service together and then repair to what um, is officially known as the Cantor Meditation Room, but everybody knew it as the secret room. And the two of us would be off limits for a good 20 minutes until we reappeared at Kiddush. And yes, there was plenty of that magical drink that has been mentioned so often um, in uh, the words shared so far today. And uh, Saul, I look forward uh, as your friend and your neighbor to continuing those postmortems. But I do believe there is something that can be shared and it's poetic justice that I share these words from the Machsor of Shavuot on this, your final Shabbat as our cantor. Akdamu milin vishariu chuta avala shakilna haraman or shuta. So before um, I let everyone in on the little joke of chanting those words, allow me to share um, what akdamut is. Akdamut or akdamut milin in introduction to the words is a prominent liturgical poem recited annually on Shavuot by Ashkenazi Jews, and it is written in Aramaic. It was penned by Rabbi Meir Bar Yitzchak of Orleans, who was a cantor in Worms, Germany. Akdamut consists of praise for God, God's Torah, and God's people. The reason for the original practice was that from biblical times to well into the Middle Ages, each verse of the Torah reading in Hebrew would be followed by its interpretation into Aramaic, and therefore it would be appropriate after the first Hebrew verse was read for another reader to provide an Aramaic gloss, including this introduction. In many synagogues, it is read responsively, 
with either the Torah reader or the cantor singing two verses and the congregation responding with the next two verses. The placement of Akdamut in the liturgy of Shavuot has been the subject of some controversy. According to the earliest sources which record the custom, they place the recitation of Akdamut after the first verse is read from the Torah on the first day of Shavuot. And this was the accepted custom for many years. However, in the 17th century, some began to question the propriety of interrupting the Torah reading with this poem. It all came to a head in Venice, where both Ashkenazim and Sephardim lived side by side, where the Sephardim, who didn't even recite Akdamut, decided to get involved in the conversation and suggest that it was chutzpah to interrupt the reading of the Torah with the recitation of Akdamut. Akdamut became, for Cantor Saul and me, the code word for liturgical passages that seemed inexplicably long, arduous, and represented obstacles to getting through the services smoothly and in a timely manner. Indeed, over the years, we made many efforts to circumvent the lengthiness of Akdamut, either by shortening it, skipping it altogether, or introducing some alternative reading. Now Saul, perhaps after 25 to 35 more years of experimenting, perhaps we might be able to get it right. Which brings me to my point about Cantrasol and his legacy. It's not necessarily about getting it right. It's about the journey in trying to achieve that lofty goal. Cantrasol, as has been shared, is an open book when it comes to what is working right and not right, and a completely open mind about how to improve and make things more meaningful and efficient for all. While he is the first person to affirm how much he loves to perform, that satisfaction has rarely been at the expense of his congregation's comfort. Kanersaw's love of experimentation and strategic thinking has made him such a great asset to this community. And while he has taken his fair share of negative feedback for unintended consequences, for after all, as he says himself, no good deed goes unpunished, trying new things with transparency and keeping one's ear to the ground about their respective opportunities and liabilities are no lose propositions. Rodef Shalom and the Denver Jewish community are the unquestionable beneficiaries of Kanner Saul's dedication and hard work. Mazel tov to you, and may you enjoy many, many more years of vigor with all that you love to do. And with that, we pivot towards the conclusion of our service as we join in the singing of Ain Kelohenu with Kanner Saul's special brand that he brings to this page 182. I'm going to postpone that just for a moment, Rabbi Gerson. Um, there are two other rabbis here today, um, and uh, I just wanted to make a mention of both of them and give them an opportunity if they did want to say anything. The first rabbi that I ever worked with in Denver, uh, Rabbi Bernard Eisenman, was kind enough to join us today after completing his duties as I understand, as emeritus rabbi, which apparently carries some responsibility I have not yet quite understood, um, but may be able to learn from you, Rabbi Eisenman. And if you are so inclined and want to unmute yourself to greet uh, your congregants here in Denver, many of whom will still remember and who still love you, um, I would welcome that. Uh, Saul, do you hear me? Yes, I can, Rabbi. Uh, I do, uh, I, I'm just so moved by this, this experience, and I thank the rabbi for uh, pounding on my door to make sure that I could get from Lexington, Massachusetts to, uh, uh, from Florida to Lexington to, De to Denver. I must uh, say, Saul, uh, 
although our our relationship was brief, uh, it was your menschlichkeit that I will never forget. And also, I was there when you were the head of the ADL. And in that period of time, there were many significant events. Your level-headedness and your calm was what I appreciated. And so I am so happy to be here, to have seen the beginning of your wonderful career, to hear these words of your career, and to bless you with years of happiness, fulfillment, and limut Torah the rest of your days. Shalom. Shalom. And Rabbi, I thank you for perhaps the most important lesson you taught me as a young cantor, and that was do not lean on the podium. Stand up straight. <laughs> It was a very important piece of it. The other rabbi, very, uh, let me introduce, you've heard him a couple of times today, and that's my friend, uh, Joe Davidson. Joe and I spent a year together at Road of Shalom after Rabbi Eisenman moved on to his next pulpit and before Rabbi Newman arrived. Um, and then he went to Tennessee for 18 years and had a very successful career there. Um, and uh, one day I was in my sister's synagogue in St. Louis, B'nai Amuna, with my wife and sitting with my parents who were living there, man, a blessed memory now, but who were there with us then. I looked across the sanctuary, and it's hard to miss Rabbi Davidson given his handlebar mustache. Um, and there he was across the synagogue uh, sanctuary. Uh, I had no idea why, but I soon discovered that he had retired from uh, his pulpit in, um, in Tennessee and had moved to St. Louis for the reason that uh, most people of that age move, and that's because of grandchildren, children and grandchildren. And uh, uh, little did Joe know, I think, at that time that he was about to launch his second career as a rabbi, and he served an additional 14 years at B'nai Amuna as an assistant and an associate um, to the senior rabbis there. Uh, so I'm really very pleased that Joe is is here with us uh, today as well. And Joe, if you have a word or two, this is your this is your chance. I <clears throat> I didn't prepare anything. Uh, Neither did I. I didn't know I was going to speak. I thought my that singing would be enough. But I do want to say I think I'm the only one. I think I'm the only one here actually of everyone who welcomed you to Denver and who has remained your friend for the entire time. I was back home in Denver uh, doing the Rose Medical Center and Allied Jewish Community Chaplaincy Programs. We took four pieces of paper and we turned it into a program. And I joined Rodef Shalom and, <clears throat> excuse me, I have morning crud. And, um, you know, I was very happy being a member of Rodef Shalom. And then Rabbi Eisenman uh, was called to Lexington and asked if I would be uh, amenable to being, in addition to my, my two jobs already, the interim rabbi there. And uh, I have to say, the experience of being the interim rabbi at Road of Shalom, plus our association, uh, made me change my whole career course. And so, yes, I did go first to uh, Danbury, Connecticut as a full-time pulpit rabbi, and then Chattanooga, Tennessee for 14 years. And, yeah, I'm an expert at retirement, so I'll give you a little <laughs> advice. Um, one of the things that I'm still learning is to put my tongue to the roof of my mouth and then be able to say, oh, as in, no. It's one of the things that uh, it's very seductive to be asked to come back and do things. But uh, I am now just a, my third time uh, in, in a sense, retiring. I took a year this year, and um, and I'm I'm done with that year, and now retiring for real. And I'm learning finally to put my tongue to the roof of my mouth and utter the syllable O. Oh. So one of the advices I'll give you is to be able to do that. Take some time. Uh, enjoy your family. Enjoy your community. Enjoy the relief of some of the stresses that can come from pulpit life 
I know you're always going to be busy because I've never known you not to be, but uh, I, I hope this will be an opportunity for you to grow even more and in a whole different way. And so I, I bless you with that uh, blessing that you continue to grow, that you continue to thrive, and that you and Debbie will enjoy many more good years, years of health, years of joy, years of fulfillment. Thank you for inviting me. I'm so glad to be here. It's, it's my first time home in a long time, even if it's only virtually. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it. Rabbi Coburn, we are running late, and this one is on me. Hello, hey, you, hey, Five <laughs> We will now join in Mourner's Kaddish. We are on page 184. 
Yitzkadal, Yitzkadash, Shemay Rabba, Vilma, Debrach, Hirte, Vilmlich Malchute, Bahayahon, Vilmahon, Vahayed, Hobet, Israel, Bagala, Uvisman Kari, Vimru, Amen, Yehishme, Rabba, Mavorach, Lama, Mel Maya, Yibrach, Vishabach, Vibar, Vitraman, Vinase, Vitadar, Vitale, Vitalash, Mid Kurishabarifu, Leila, Min Kobir Hata, Vishirata, Tush Bechata, Venechamata, Damiran, Vyama, Vimru, Amen, Yehe Shlama, Rabba, Min Shemaya, Vachayim, Alenu, Vyakol Yisrael, Vimru, Amen, O Seshalom, Vimru, Mav, Huya, Seshalom, Alenu, Vyakol Yisrael, Vimru, Amen. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Thank you so much to everybody who was on this live stream who made this service so incredibly special for Cantor Saul. Your energy and your words really, I know, uh, touched him and touched me and touched all of us, our wider community. It's so wonderful also to have um, rabbis from Rodef's past back on this. What a special silver lining in this moment. And I'm told Rabbi Newman, Cantor Saul told me that it is your birthday today. Is that correct? Is that correct? He Does he hear yes. me? Did he, he say yes? yes? Great. So we're gonna close with Yom Hulet Sameach to Cantor to Rabbi Newman because if we were in Brodef and it was his birthday, we'd be singing to him there. So we're gonna sing, and then David has a special closing song, which will then be followed by another rendition of Cantor Saul's Nagoon. Um, after this service, Torah study will be happening on the Zoom channel, Torah reading and Torah study. Um, thank you so much to all of our lay leaders who put time and energy and heart into making that happen. That will also, um, uh, right now, currently, Tat Shabbat is happening and Mini Minyan are happening as well. It's so wonderful to have such a special community. And Cantor Saul, you're now becoming Cantor Emeritus Saul. And that means watch out because I'll give you a month off. But after that, I'm inviting you back to come back on this live stream or to come back into our sanctuary and lead us again with your beautiful heart and your beautiful voice. Thank you. Animes <laughs> Miro, these songs we sing. Names we wrote, these songs we weave From where they come to where they go Our names we wrote, these songs we sing These songs we sing Our names we wrote, these songs we weave Our names we wrote from where they come to where they go. These songs we sing, our names we wrote. Our names we wrote, these songs we sing. Our names we wrote, these songs we weave. From where they come to where they go, our names we wrote, these songs we sing. Ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la la ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la la ya la 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 ya la 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 Ya la 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 Shabbat Shalom everybody Shabbat Shalom